Hey guys, it's Lori. So I got a lot to do today and I thought I'd share it with you. I'm going to Costco. I do have to run into Walmart really quick. So I'm gonna share all that with you guys. Right now it is cold out here. <laughs> it's only 33 degrees outside. And uh, my seat, this seat right here is folded down because we got a picnic table over the weekend and we had to put the seat down in order to get it in. Well, I don't wanna walk around there to put the seat back up right now because the grass is wet. I don't wanna get my feet wet. It's supposed to be in the 50s later, but I wanted to wear my heavier coat because I'm cold right now. All right, let's get going to uh, my job. I have to go to a job first. Oh, I'm gonna put my masks back. I washed masks over the weekend and get those put away. Got Hayden's in here too, his little mask. His little mask. It doesn't look that little in the video, but anyways, whatever. He's he's going to be 12 this month. Or next month, I mean. Gosh. It goes so fast. All right, let's go. There's no train today. No train, at least not right now. There could possibly be one when I get home. You never know. I usually don't go the direction where I have to cross the tracks to get home, though. Anyway, my seat's not right at all. John drove over the weekend, and now I have to fool around with my seat for the next, I don't know, probably all the way to my job before I get it right. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, sun's gonna be blinding, so I'll talk to you in a few. The job's done, the coat is off, and I'm turning on my AC. So, it's one of those days. <laughs> all right, I am gonna go, um, I'm going to contemplate where I'm going to go next. I think I'm going to stop at Walmart really quick. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll just get back with you at some point. <laughs> I just finished up at Walmart. So let me go ahead and show you real quick what I got there. It's basically foods for the phase two of the HCG protocol. So let me just get right into it. Uh, I got some cabbage and I got two heads. The other one is buried somewhere over here. I think it too. So here's two cabbages. I'm gonna to toss them back here because I have my insulated bags right there. I'm gonna get out and put those in the insulated bags before I head to Costco. I got some asparagus. This looks really nice. So yeah, that'll be nice in the air fryer. There's that. And I also picked up some fresh Brussels sprouts. I don't, I don't think I have any frozen ones but fresh ones are so much better in the air fryer though. Oh, they're really good. I also grabbed some meat. This is the reason why I actually went inside this time. I didn't do a Walmart pickup this time because they, it said out of stock on the meat that I wanted. So I thought, let me just go inside. I just didn't even, I just took everything off my order and didn't even place the order. And, uh, decided just to go inside and see what I could find. So I picked up a couple packages of these thin sliced eye of round steaks. They're very lean, so this could be something. Honestly, I pretty much stick with beef most of the time on a round because I'm so sick of like plain chicken. Like I made myself so sick of it doing rounds that I don't want it anymore. But we'll see, I'll probably do chicken now and then, but I also grabbed some larger round steaks, um, the thicker ones, and I'll just cut them down. I'll portion them to the proper portions and cut them down. And I got two packages of the round steaks. There's two decent sized round steaks in each one. And if you cook them right, they're good. But this is a very lean diet. You have to have very lean meats. So this is kind of yucky on the back. Let me grab a bag. All right, so now I got my hands kind of yucky. But you know what? I decided that I better run in and use the restroom before I head to Costco anyway. So there's that. <laughs> I did get a half gallon of milk. This is not for us on, on HCG, phase two of HCG. This is just to have on hand for Hayden or if somebody else is there and wants some milk or I might need it for if I make Hayden some mac and cheese or something like that. He usually will eat some cereal or something too. I grabbed some silk almond milk. That is, I'm probably gonna use that. And I also grab some half and half. I get the question all the time. Do you use half and half on your round on your face too? Yes, I do. Are you supposed to? No, not really. But I do use a little bit in my coffee. So there's the answer to that question. <laughs> if anybody wants to know. And along the same lines, I did get some sugar-free coffee mate. 
the Italian sweet cream. And this is going to be for my iced coffee. And this is also going to be for my iced coffee, the sugar-free hazelnut. And I also picked up some, I'm not even sure how you say this, swai <laughs> fillets. They're boneless, skinless fish fillets. So I'll make that. And I usually spice it up with like um, Tony Cheshire's, like some Cajun spice. So there's that. And I also grabbed a couple bottles of salad dressing. This isn't really on the protocol either, but we always use this kind. And I, well, actually, I usually just use the regular stuff whatever I happen to have on hand, but this is better. Bold House Farms, and I got Ranch for Me, and I got John some blue cheese. The calories, the, the macros are so much better, and the ingredients on this brand than any other brand, really, that I know of, unless you want to go with, like, Walden Farms or something, and I've tried that, and no thank you. It's terrible. I don't like it. That's my opinion. So th there's only in a serving, which is two tablespoons in the ranch, there's 45 calories, three grams of fat, and three carbs. So no fiber or anything like that. So yeah, and 35 calories and two and a half grams of fat, two carbs in the blue cheese. So that is much better than any other kind you're gonna find. And then I'm gonna show you what I get at Costco when I get there. Oh, I am going to tell you this too. I think when I go back in to use the restroom, I'm going to grab a water because I forgot to bring water. We don't, I haven't been buying bottled water lately because we've been using a Brita pitcher that we have now. My dad's girlfriend gave me a Brita pitcher. So I've been using it and I love it, but I keep forgetting to bring water with me now since I can't like just grab a bottle. So <laughs> we do have a few bottles at home, but I just don't think about bringing them because I don't have them out anymore. They're kind of put away. But I grabbed this at Dollar Tree the last time I was there, this Propel watermelon flavored water. It's sweetened with sucralose. It's not the best as far as that goes when it's like not super ice cold. And it's not super ice cold right now, but I'm thirsty and I need some water. So I'm gonna drink a little bit of this. <laughs> I already have taken a few sips of it, but then I'm gonna go in there, use the restroom, get a real bottle of water and head to Costco. And then I'll be back with you. Oh, I am done at Costco and I am definitely ready to go home. I have a headache <laughs> and it might be a detox headache already. I don't know. It's kind of soon for that, but it kind of feels like one <laughs> anyway. Okay. So I parked clear back in the back 40 of the parking lot and this dude pulled up a couple spaces over and he's just sitting there. It's like, what are you doing? But whatever. My doors are locked, aren't they? Yeah. So it'll be fine. He can watch me do my haul if he'd like. So the reason I came to Costco today, I wasn't going to come today, but I thought, you know, I'm already halfway here. I might as well just go for it because my job, where my job was today is halfway to Costco. And otherwise I work completely the opposite direction. So I just decided to do it today because I only have a couple days left before my receipt from my last Costco trip is 30 days old. And I'm pretty sure you only have 30 days to do this. Some of the things from my receipt from last time went on sale this month. So I wanted to get the price difference. And if you just take it up to the service desk, the return desk in the front of the store, like right inside the door, uh, they'll refund you the difference. And I had enough things that it was definitely worth the trip. And I also noticed that when I was looking through my receipt to find like all the items, because they ask you which items. So um, I have them marked on here. I put a little dot next to the prices. And uh, anyway, there was one thing on there that I got charged for twice that I only got one. It was the bacon crumbles. I only got one of those, but there was two of them on my receipt. I was like, oh, well, I wonder if they'll refund that money to me because I don't have any proof that I only got one. You know what I mean? They did. They refunded it. It was eight seventy nine dollars for that. So... I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, they just took my word for it. No questions asked. So yeah, if you're ever hesitant to like go up to their return counter and get the price difference, if something went on sale that you paid full price for, you know, it, I think it has to be within a 30 day period though. So don't ever hesitate to do that because they're amazing about it. And I've seen on other people's videos where they've done that and they're, every Costco seems to be like amazing with their customer service. So. I ended up getting back $16.64 for sale items. 
that I paid full price for last time that went on sale this time. And plus the $8.79, I ended up getting $25.43 back altogether. On a, they just put it on a gift card or they'll just give you the cash. So I just went ahead and got a gift card since I was doing some shopping anyway. So let's just get started with $8.99 for this coffee. It's three pounds and three ounces. <laughs> you knew there was gonna be coffee, right? I'm gonna try and set this stuff back here because I do have my crates right here for that, that uh, blah, blah. <laughs> my crates that I bought last time I'm gonna put my stuff in those toilet paper that's the big 30 pack I think is it a 30 pack yeah there's 30 giant rolls of toilet paper in there for $16.49 and I also picked up some of this coffee mate this is a 56 ounce container for $5.99 and I grabbed some hair, <laughs> hair skin and nails sounds like I got a maraca Hair skin and nails, 250 count for $14.79. Love this stuff, it works wonderful. And I also grabbed, this is heavy, but I got a gigantic refill of Windex and it came with this bottle as well. It's like shrink wrapped together. It's a 1.37 gallon plus this 32 ounce spray bottle for $11.99. I think that's a good price. I can't remember what I paid at Lowe's, but I'm pretty sure this is a better deal. So I'll check to make sure before I buy that again, but I do go through a lot of that for work. Okay, 24 ounce macadamia nuts. Um, this is a pound and a half of macadamia nuts and it was $19 and something, I can't remember. <laughs> Let me check real quick, $19.89 for these, which is actually a good price for macadamia nuts. I don't eat very many of these at a time. And yes, I do sometimes eat a few of these on HDG, but I do HDG 2.0, so keep that in mind. And I don't eat very many at all. So there's that. I grabbed some of these grape tomatoes. They look really good. Um, I don't really love tomatoes, but John does. And he wanted some of these for you can have for he's just doing the original protocol and you can have fruit you can have two pieces of fruit it's specific fruits apples oranges grapefruits or i don't remember something else apples oranges grapefruits i thought there was something else anyways he instead of his second fruit he has a few tomatoes so and it works for him it works really well 5.99 for this two pound container of grape tomatoes and I don't want to smash those. I also grabbed, I thought of Michelle, Zesty Girl, I thought of you when I picked these up. Look at these peppers. It was $6.99 for these peppers. There's no green peppers in here. No green peppers. They're all just orange, yellow, and red. <laughs> if you want to know why, you'll have to watch her last Costco haul and find out. You have to listen closely. Okay, I also grabbed the big six pack of the romaine hearts, the romaine lettuce, $4.29 for this. I think you call it cos lettuce in Australia, Michelle, zesty girl, is that right? <laughs> but yeah, so that looks actually really good. It looks really fresh. And I also grabbed the six pound, is it six pound? I write it on here. So it's a six and a half pound bag for $16.99 of the chicken breasts. I really wish they still had the Purdue chicken breasts, but they don't. They don't have that anymore. So anyways, that's everything that I got from Costco. And I'm gonna head home now. And I'm telling you, my feet are killing me today. So thanks so much for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video. I almost forgot. I also got some rotisserie chicken. So there's that, doesn't that look yummy? I can tell you this, I can smell it. It smells amazing. <laughs> I do eat that on face too, by the way. I just take off all the skin and I'm actually gonna put it in the freezer because John will have a fit if he knows that I threw it away. <laughs> he can have it after this round is over.